Sergei Parayanov's The Colour of Pomegranates is an experimental, surrealist, semi-biographical film focusing on Sayat Nova, the Armenian poet and musician. Through the film's multiple chapters, the film intends to reflect the imagery of Sayat Nova's poetry, which is quoted throughout the film, with its own sense of distinctive imagery, rather than portraying and retelling the events of Sayat Nova's life. The film is incredibly abstract, and while it may seem like a daunting viewing experience, is filled with beautiful imagery that can and should be widely appreciated. Jay Hoberman, writing for the New York Times in 2018, states that understanding is not not synonymous with enjoying. The visual language of some movies is so personal and hermetic that interpreting it could be compared to reading a novel written in hieroglyphics. In The Colour of Pomegranates, Sayat Nova's poems are seen rather than heard. There is some voiceover but little dialogue in an ebb and flow soundtrack that alternates wailing folk melodies with choral chanting. The film draws on Sayat Nova's imagery, angels with flat halos and wooden wings, a pasteboard cloud descending as a vision, the constant repetition of key props including books, silver balls and ornate rugs, fruits seem to bleed and books to weep. Animals, particularly goats and sheep, are ubiquitous. Impassive actors engage in dance-like gestures while staring straight into the camera. Although the colour of pomegranates expresses an abstract form of filmmaking, a form that is also an expression of Armenian culture via the folk melodies, costumes and theological presentation, some aspects of the filmmaking implemented, such as repetitions used during certain sequences, intertitles with quotes from Sayat Nova's poetry that are similar to to the intertitles of silent era filmmaking, all of these present a distinctively ethereal viewing experience. At the beginning of the film, a message from Sergei Parayanov prompts the viewer not to search for narrative with these images, therefore it is much more understandable to allow the stream of consciousness imagery to wash over the viewer, rather than attempting to decipher it. In an article for The Guardian, written by Tony Paley, there are two quotes, one from Parayanov and one from Martin Scott. Gorsese. Parianov states that Tarkovsky, who was younger than I by 12 years, was my teacher and mentor. He was the first in Ivan's childhood to use images of dreams and memories to present allegory and metaphor. Tarkovsky helped people decipher the poetic metaphor. Towards the end of the article, Martin Scorsese is quoted as saying during the presentation of this film in Toronto, I didn't know any more about Sayat Nova at the end of the picture than I knew at the beginning, but instead what Parianov did was he opened a door into a timeless cinematic experience. Both of these quotes easily suggest that The Colour of Pomegranates is an abstract film that, although may have elements of biography, it is not a film to educate on the life of Sayat Nova, but rather a film expressing elaborate allegories and metaphors through beautiful imagery inspired by Andrei Tarkovsky. For example, during the film's first chapter, a storm develops overnight. The next day, books are pressed for the rainwater to drain out, and then are left wide open on the rooftops to dry out. The poet, depicted as a child, watches as this process takes place, and as the pages flicker and flow in the wind as if coming to life, a feeling that could be shared by any viewer that has felt seclusion while engaging with a good novel. These images were accompanied at the start of the chapter by a quote from Sayat Nova, cherish the pen, cherish the writing, cherish books. This event may never have happened, but Sayat Nova's adoration for writing was clear and these images depict a respect and fondness for books from a young age. The way the image is framed, with the books left wide open on the roof giving the impression that these wide open books can be found for miles in this manner, has a mystical, ethereal sense about it. Other distinctive allegorical imagery includes the poet's death being depicted as his child form hovers over him, holding angel wings for the poet to take, then two other children dressed as angels escort the poet away from the camera, as if guiding him to the afterlife. The poet as a child walked behind the poet as a young adult, as if to become that form of the poet as the film's second chapter begins titled The Poet's Youth, and as in reference to the title, pomegranates seem to bleed. While the film is not easy to understand as a whole, interpretation being a challenge, it presents many poignant images that are magnificent, able to be appreciated without 
much understanding. In conclusion, the colour of pomegranates can be appreciated and enjoyed without necessarily understanding it. It is unlikely to inform or educate the viewer on Sayat Nova's life, but what the film does present is intricately detailed, elaborately choreographed surrealist imagery that reflects the poet's own imagery in their work. The film may be an initially challenging viewing experience at first, but many of the film's beautiful images are bound to linger.